Uploading files into Moodle. There are two ways of adding documents such as presentations or word processed files to your Moodle course. One way is dragging and dropping them straight onto the course page, as we've seen in the previous video. If you can't use drag and drop, this method uses Moodle's Activity Chooser and File Picker. To upload files this way, we need to turn the editing on either by clicking the Turn Editing On button or by scrolling to the Administration block and clicking the Turn Editing On link. Then, in the section where we would like to upload the document, we click the link Add an Activity or Resource. This brings us to Moodle's Activity Chooser and we scroll down to Resources. Our document is a resource and we're going to add a file, so we click the File button. We can either click it once and then click Add at the bottom, or simply click twice to go straight to the setup screen. The name is important because the name is what the students will see on the page when they access it. The description is also important and you may or may not need to add a description depending on whether your administrator has set the description as a requirement or not. If you want the description displayed on the course page, click the box Display Description on Course Page. Then we arrive at the File Manager. And again, if your browser allows it, it's possible just to drag the file straight into this box here. But we are going to click where it says Add, and this takes us to Moodle's File Picker, which we'll explore more in another video. We just want to upload a file, so let's ignore for now the other links and click Upload a File. We then see either Choose a File or Browse. The wording depends on the browser that you're using. And we then click to find the file that we want. We can change its name if we want to, we don't have to. We can change the author name, choose a license if we're not happy with the default license, and then click to upload the file. Moodle displays useful icons of file types, so you can see that this is a PDF, for example. There are other settings which we can investigate, but for now we'll just add it. So we click Save and Return to Course, and our PDF is displayed on the page. If we accidentally put it in the wrong section, remember, we can move it either by drag and drop, or if we have a long course page, by clicking the Move icon and then choosing where we want it to move to. For instance, from Listening into Reading.